Hi, welcome back to this brief mid video before the live premiere tonight at 9.30 p.m. UK time. Make sure to be there. I'm going to be doing some breaking news updates on the case with Candy's Coolies response as well as news about the LE doing so for the first time. Okay, so aside from that, yes, the title is as it reads, someone or something is trying to shut me down in, in a way, you know. Um, kind of similar to what happened last year, where you had, you know, the fake accounts followed by impersonation accounts of me, followed by slander, followed by copyright claims, and, you know, trying to get my videos taken down, and contacting YouTube, making false allegations, saying I've gone against the terms of service when I clearly haven't. Yeah, the same's happened again. Um, if you go to the community page of my channel, you will see the screenshot, which I received an email from YouTube. It's all official, okay? Um, as for the video in question, which has received a privacy complaint, it's the one titled, Candice Cooley calls out Brookie. Okay, you remember that one? I will provide a link down below in the comment section so you can view it yourself and be the judge yourself and see whether it goes against any rules or not. I don't think so. As for the timestamp, three minutes into the video, up to six minutes, okay? And that portion of it was just basically saying, um, if the real Brookie is a bit dodgy, um, spreads misinformation, causes confusion, or anything like that, which could be harmful towards a case or people involved within it, then, you know, if she's going around to other cases and getting involved and claiming she knows this and that, it could be a bit problematic. So maybe it's just worth spreading awareness, just so people are aware of who that individual is and what they are capable of. That's it. But I guess that's been flagged as some kind of privacy complaint. Even now, it don't really go against anything. No threatening language, no witch hunt, no um, doxing, no privacy uh, details or anything like that revealed. Everything shown on YouTube is all public, okay? All the videos, the news reports, okay? The only times, which was way back then, a year ago, when it came to more private material, it was like text conversations. And I said to him, to people in the Kenny Veach community, can I share this? Is it possible if I use it for the next video? And I obviously said, yes, 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 because I asked. All this stuff in the Dylan Rouse case is all public. It's either on Facebook, YouTube, one of the YouTube channels, like the mob crew with the interviews, and mm, no thanks, okay? Lance Kelly with his footage and whatever, bits and bobs here and there. So who are the culprits responsible for trying to take me down? Who's so desperate to do that? Well, there's always a small possibility. It could be some pathetic individual from a year or two ago who had a grudge against me for, for whatever reason, possibility. If it's not that, it's most likely going to be the current dodgy individual who's created all those fake accounts of me as well as of other people. Something seems to be going on there, obviously. And if it's not them, could it be Candice Cooley? No, because it wasn't demonstrating Candice in a negative light. And it would have been more obvious if it was from them. Plus as well, she's got more important things to be doing, which is finding Dylan and doing day-to-day -day stuff. So she's not gonna bother with that because there's other more serious drama going on previous, which she just ignored or uh, rose above. So it can't be her. Could it be the Brookie? It could be, possibly. It could be the Brookie, Blues Cruise. She's changed the username recently. The reason why I say it could be her is because the three minute timestamp to six minute is, you know, just basically talking about her saying if she moves on to other cases, it's worth spreading a little bit of awareness of who she is. And that's it. So that might be why, and that might be who they are. But this is the case. You know, if they've got a problem, leave a comment in the comment section. Don't be a little coward. Okay, simple as. We got an issue, state the problem. You got a problem, say it. Simple as. And as well, nothing goes against TOS in terms of what was said. 
clearly language and wording used specifically, something which most humans fail to do. Okay, so what happens next? Well, I'm I'm asked to um, basically either shut down the video or edit it out, blur it out. No, because not going to go not gone against anything. Going to do the same as last time a year ago. Do fuck all, and then see what happens after that. I think if I'm correct in saying what happened last time was my video was taken down, which impacted my um, channel statistics realistically. And and then later at a point, it it was uh, uploaded or it was uh, set public again and viewable. So I don't know why that. I think it comes down to the YouTube to review the video at the end of it. If you don't act, YouTube will. Now what they should do is take into account the establishment of the channel. My channel is more established than theirs. I'm probably more long term than they are or whoever they are because I've been doing YouTube since 2013, the age of 13, simple as, okay? And yeah, um, I'd say at times I'm the black sheep, most definitely, especially in the UK, especially here, who cares? Whatever, there we go. So we'll see what happens next. Um, basically, if uh, the channel disappears or random wacky stuff happens, obviously that's because it's out of my control and everything's gone downhill and gone completely fucked. Okay, so best prepare for the worst, see what happens next, document everything as we go along and see as all hell breaks loose. I always expect the worst, I'm always ready for the worst. Just, um, what would you call it, conditioned in my mind because that's most time what I experience, negative, 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 screwed over, screwed over, this, that, bad stuff happens, that's what I'm used to, okay? That's, that's why it explains the straight face on me, like cement, concrete, fixed, frozen in time type of state. So um, I don't know if you can do anything, probably not. It's more of um, we'll wait and see, which will probably be either tomorrow or the day after or the day after, because YouTube do act kind of quick. So um, things could go to shit. But in the meantime, I said the live premiere is coming tonight at 9.30 p.m. UK time, so make sure to watch that. It should be good, interesting video. I know the Motel Hotel pizza video it needs to be done, but you know it's one of those things where if breaking news comes in here and there, that, that comes first, obviously, and this as well. Uh, understandably, because I've, I've uploaded quite a few videos today in one day, this video might not reach out to everyone. People might skip over it. So I'll make sure in the next video that I add a link so people can refer back to this, okay? But hopefully as many people see this as possible and also spread the word as well um, about what I've encountered, but also awareness towards other people so they're prepared in the future when it happens to them. Because who knows, it could be one big cleansing spree. So that's it for now. We'll see what happens next, as said, and uh, I'm trying to find a fucking off button for this light. There we go. Goodbye.